Hamdan, I'm Nabil Murad. In this training video, I'll show you how to put your computer into the holiday spirit by creating a blinking Christmas tree in Excel. Okay, the graphic is kind of crude, but it's the thought that counts, right? I'll show you how to use a randomizing function in Excel. The rand between and conditional formatting, I concepts, and a simple macro to create that project so let's get started. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps for creating a Christmas tree in Excel from scratch. The first step is to create a new blank Excel file. And I'll start by selecting columns C to U. And I need to adjust the column width. I can do that either by dragging or I can click on the Format tab, select Column Width. And then I want to set the width to 1.7. So I hit enter and then I'll be adjusting the row heights for rows 2 and 3. I'll be adjusting the row height for rows 4 through 19 and then I'll be adjusting the row height for rows 20 through 22. And my sheet should look something like that. Here are the measurements in case you need to copy them. The next step is to select multiple ranges and to select multiple ranges I need to press the control key on my keyboard and then I'll keep pressing the control key and keep selecting. I already named these ranges to save time and here is the range that I selected. I need to change the fill color and make it green and then I'll be selecting the base from K20 to M22 and I'll color it in brown. And the next step is to create a randomizing function equal range between I'll be creating a randomizing function that generates random numbers between 1 and 10. So I'm going to hit 1, comma 10, and then I'll close brackets, hit Control Enter to populate the function in the entire range. A randomizing function recalculates every time you hit F9 on your keyboard. But I'm going to apply conditional formatting to this range, so you'll not be viewing the result of the function anymore. So I'll click on the Home tab. Click on conditional formatting and then click on icon sets and select the traffic lights. And then I need to hide the function. So I'll click on conditional formatting one more time. Manage rule, edit conditional formatting rule and check the box for show icon only and then hit OK. And then hit OK another time. Every time you hit F9 on your keyboard, this function recalculates and the conditional formatting reflects the new value which gives the impression of blinking. I need to add some visual elements, so I'll be inserting a little shape, a four-point star, so click on the Insert tab, click on Shapes, and select the four-point star, and then I need to apply some formatting to my shape. I do that by using options on the Format tab. I need then to insert a picture. I downloaded the picture of Santa from the internet. I'll click on Insert. I need to resize it and then drag it to the side of the tree. I position it in columns A and B, so I might need to resize columns A and B. And the final thing I would like to do, if you don't want to hit F9 repeatedly, you can automate this process by writing a code. I already wrote the code for you. You will find it in the comments below this video. And this code loops over a certain line of instruction, it repeats a certain line of instruction which calculates, this is the equivalent of F9 in Visual Basic Editor, the calculate method, and then it will, it will loop for 15 times with a wait time of one second, it will be redoing that. I named this procedure Nabil Murad, you can name it whatever you like, and then I'm going to assign this procedure to, macro, uh, to Santa by right clicking and select Assign Macro. I'll select Nabil Murad and then hit OK. The final thing I would like to do is to hide the grid lines, hide the headings, and this is how it should look like. Thank you for watching. This is Nabil Murad from Toronto, Canada.